Hi guys, welcome to the My Burger Lab show. Now, my name is Reni and I'm one of the co-founders of My Burger Lab. Today, I will share with you the secret on how to make a beautiful mess from scratch. Now, all these ingredients you see in front here, you can get it from your local supermarket. So in the event that you need a beautiful mess in the middle of the night, you know how to make one. All right, some of the ingredients you will need is patty, cheese, mayo, honey, ketchup, mustard. Just to start you off, some lettuce, tomato will be good too. Now, one of the core ingredients that you will need is portobello mushrooms. These guys can grow to almost as big as my face, but this is a medium sized one. Uh, this is the only one that I could get today. However, if you get, get larger ones, do so because when you fry them, they do shrink and you want your portobello to be juicy after frying it. Apart from that, you will need some frying flour. It could be all-purpose flour, that's fine, just for coating. And you need some panko breadcrumb. And you need an egg, just so you can do the coating. For bread, if you would like to get your own uh, bread from your local bakery, please do so. I prefer charcoal bun for obvious reasons. Uh, yeah, that's it. Let's get cooking. For every good burger, you need great sauces. In the beautiful mess, you have the honey mustard, and the egg sauce. Now, I'm gonna let you in on an industry secret. The egg sauce is pretty much common among a lot of fast food joints. It's basically a combination of ketchup, mustard, and mayo. Now, I'm gonna teach you how to make our secret egg sauce. For us, it's very simple. It's gonna be equal portion of every single ingredient. So I'm gonna eyeball this, and you can adjust according to how you like it. So all you need to do is just to mix these three goodness together. You will have something that ends up a little bit orangey. So we've made an egg sauce. Now we're gonna make the honey mustard. And what's honey, honey mustard? Honey and mustard. So for this one, it's a two to one ratio. So I'm gonna put two portions of mustard and one portion of honey. So the thing about cooking is, you want to have fun when you're doing this. So it doesn't matter if you put a little bit too much honey or too little uh, honey, as long as you tweak it as you go. All right, again, let's mix it in. And we have honey mustard. So we have done our sauces. We're gonna go on with the mushrooms. So pick the mushroom that you like. Pick out this little nub here. There we go. If you deep fry this, this is pretty good. But I'm not gonna use this today. Some recipes will ask you to remove the gills and we'll do that today. Now that you've cleaned up your mushroom, you wanna slice them. Do not wash your mushroom. If these guys touch water, they start shrinking and they start getting all gooey. So we're gonna slice it lengthwise. This depends on how many mushrooms you need in each burger. So we're gonna go with three. We're gonna have a little bit extra so you can have some nibbles on the side. So how thick do you wanna cut it? We're gonna cut it to the thickness of your thumb. All right, now that we've cut our mushrooms, we're gonna coat them with panko breadcrumb. I'll be using our signature frying flour today as the first coating, and then after that, we're gonna dip it in egg wash, and finally in panko. All right, so I'm gonna coat them all right now. So again, as a reminder, you don't have to use this flour if you don't want to. You can always use all-purpose uh, flour, not an issue. All right, to braid your portobello mushroom, remember, one hand for each task. Use your right hand to do the egg wash, and then use your left hand to do the breadcrumb. You don't want them to be crisscrossing, otherwise you're gonna have very sticky and messy hands. So get your oil ready for frying the portobello mushroom. Make sure you have something that's a little bit deep enough to do a shallow fry. So here we have our signature burger lap beef patty. If you like, you can get it at our My Burger Lab Mart. However, if you want to get it from your local butcher, you can do so as well. Just let them know you want an 80-20% fat ratio uh, beef patty. So, I prefer a non-stick pan. We got ours from IKEA. IKEA, if you hear this, look us up. You want your pan to be smoking hot. And for me, I prefer to just add a touch of oil just to get things started. Now, once the oil starts to smoke, you know you're ready to go. Now that you see it smoking, it's time for the patty to go down. So for burger lap patty, generally you don't need to season it. If you like a little bit of salt and pepper, feel free to do so. Depending on how hot your griddle is, I will suggest cooking it to two minutes each side. All right, two minutes is up. We're gonna flip it. All right, look at the sear. It is amazing. Now, it's gonna be another two minutes to sear on the other side. Now you've seen Burger Lab burgers with that amazing cheese crust. 
and you've always wondered how we do it. I'm going to show you today how that is done. To get the cheese crust, you want to put it slightly off the burger, like this. Alright, what will happen is, it will melt off the side and we form a cheese crust. Now, what we need to do is put a cover and put a little bit of water. So get ready your pan cover and a little bit of water and go for it. Alright, you remove the cover and let the cheese crust cook in the beef fat. Alright, look at this beauty. So scrape it gently, don't want to break the crust. Let the extra oil drip off. Don't throw away the oil, we're going to use it later. I'll show you how. Ready, done. What we're going to do now is going to take the buns and toast it in the beef fat. Here's a tip. Sometimes the bun, when you get them, or you leave them out for too long, they can get a little bit dry. What you can do is, get a little bit of water, spray them. Alright, and what's going to happen is when you toast this, the water is going to evaporate and steam the bun from inside. And that's what we're going to do right now. Make sure this is on low heat, you want to toast this bun nice and slow. Let them soak up all the beef fat. This should take about 2 minutes. Alright, when your oil is ready, you put in your portobello mushrooms. Cook each side for about 30-40 seconds until it's crispy golden brown and flip to the other side. So when frying anything, the key thing to always remember is you need to get it crispy golden brown. Now for mushrooms, they're edible on their own as it is already so you don't really need to test for doneness. So we're gonna go for it once the color is right. Look at this. Make sure you drain them. Put them on a paper towel. Done. Alright, we're gonna fry the signature egg, the beautiful mess. So make sure you have oil in there and make sure it's nice and hot. And then go for it. Now, to get the burger lab egg, you wanna swirl the egg white. Swirl it. You wanna swirl the egg white while it's still semi cold, where the egg white has not set yet. And you get that nice little nest. For the egg yolk. Of course, salt and pepper. Alright, so now we've done all the work, we're gonna assemble the burger. This is the fun part. So we have the buns, we have the fried mushrooms, we have the patty and cheese, the lettuce tomato, and the fried egg. And of course the two sauces. So we're gonna assemble and we're gonna start with the bottom bun and the top bun. The buns should be fluffy on the outside, crunchy on the inside. So with the bottom bun, we're going to use the egg sauce. So this is depending on how much you like the sauce, I right, give it a taste. I usually like to put about one and a half spoon and just give it a good spread. So if you toasted your bun properly, it should hold the sauce pretty well. Next, we're going to do the tomato and lettuce. Plant it right here. And then we have the beef patty. Make sure the cheese crust is facing right in front. After that, you want to put your portobello mushrooms. So we always do it this way, facing forward, so that when you bite into them, they, they don't fall apart. Okay, we're going to finish up the burger with a little bit of honey mustard and then top it up with the egg. So again, to your discretion. I like my honey mustard. I'm gonna go a little bit more generous here. So after we spread it over the mushroom, we're gonna put our egg. Uh, you can cook your egg well done. You can cook it sunny side up, medium well like I do. You can see it jiggling, right? Here we go. Again, a little bit more honey mustard doesn't hurt. and top it off. And 
this is why they call this the beautiful mess.